with the blurred vision, like having an aura migraine. Who? How's uh, Palma? Ew! Uh oh. Ooh! Oh. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Hazaha mm. 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 wants to step in against the vision. <laughs> And neither are we. And even if we tried... Wait, I don't have an electro... vision yet. Oh crap, we're back here. Look how she tried to kill me for a second time, step out, so she's technically kept her word. So, we meet again. Yes, we do. <clears throat> Just kidding, you're gonna fight the Shogun. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Hey, the real Shogun. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? The opportunity to deceive the Ryan Shogun should never existed. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. Mmm, yes, I did. <laughs> If so, then you underestimate me. You know what's going on inside? I, not so. <laughs> Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hut decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. But the Vision Hut decree is damaging. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. But now we actually get to see her real self and how she acts. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Well, what do you expect? High risk, high reward situation. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. So you're afraid that everybody would lose their life if they were, if they didn't have visions. So that's this fear of death by taking power away from people. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. Yeah, enough to somehow break through the steadfast iron ignorant of your mind to somehow get straight into your mentality and where we are. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, <laughs> you are the furthest thing from eternity. In other words, you are so special. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What <clears throat> matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. It is your plane of euthymia. <clears throat> it, it is created by your consciousness, yes? That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Because Yayamiko explained everything, and now we are talking to the real you, not the puppet you from the outside. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? As much as 99% of me says no, I'm still going to go with the 1% that says yes. <clears throat> I'm here to demolish them. Hmm. He's like, oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> so be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. You wish to become the enemy. And here we get ready. A few moments later. Of eternity, Trevor. Well, guess what? 
I'm gonna, oh crap! Just like before! Crap! And you know what? Nope. Oh crap, you're it. Orders given. Nope. Orders received. Fast go. Oh, you take a lot, you take a lot. You are an enemy that requires special attention. And you're a Kyrian Setsuki from Kira Kyo. Oh, crap. Eh. Oh, this! From the land of eternity. This is one I need to get rid of. Now I remember. But this time I'm more than prepared. Strike dead. You? Sort of with your strike again. I dare fight the Kyrian Setsuki. I dare fight the girl boss. Yep. One second. There we go. Yeah. 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 Ow. Ooh, you are gonna do that. Evasion is key. Oh. Up. Oh. Oh. oh dang! Dang it down. A few minutes later. So you're dead? Dust. That's it. Come on. Is that not working? Object can only be used on full trigger. Okay, there we go. Now it works. Uh Nope. Nope. Faster? Okay, fa- This hand no. No, it isn't. I got buffs. I got items. I got whatever else I got up my sleeve. Instabilities will be removed. Okay. Oh crap! Uh oh! If it's an entry, it's force one more by turning things around. I'm here waiting, throwing the things. Oh crap! Ick. Mm. Can I still use items? Eventually. Nope. I still have items. Uh, crap, I can't use healing from Chi-Chi. That ain't gonna work. Mm. You're one to talk. Ooh. Nope. But this time I survived. Oh! Oh, I'm cutting it rather close. <sighs> hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> He's like, yes, oh, it no. is. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? <sighs> Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions. Which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> You're saved. Okay, ten or five. What? Okay, the kanji. They look like kanji. I don't know what the kanji means. Mm. Now something finally picks up. Their wishes. Defeat the Electro Archon. Mm. I'll approve you. Ow. A sight to behold. Oh. 
Oh, now I can get my abilities back. Now we're here in the real theme. Oop. Nope. Ow. I hear everything. I'm hearing all the turns to silence. Ow! Ooh! Nope. Where's he going? Crap! Crap. Using 99 visions at once. Dang! Do I hit harder as well? Oh, he'll be seven. I'll approve you! Oh, Mary! Dang. Do I hit harder? Dang, now we're actually hearing the right Shogun theme. No, you don't. Now I'm starting to hit you hot. I hear everything. No further This world is a fleeting shadow. Come on! Finish it off! Nope! Be gone. Done! Does it get harder from here? You've lost A. Yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people? And in the power of their ambitions. These ambitions have transcended space and time. And people move they are something that no mind. one can snuff out. Mm, they can surpass the gods' expectation and take over the work of the gods. Mm. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? Yes. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. I don't think America would ever want to hear that. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. That is the cost of progress. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. Really? But at what cost? When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. Hmm? My name means shadow. Hmm. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. That is the price of progress. The are still retold in the shade of every thunder sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. Machine. But I've seen the nation stride forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Hmm. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? She didn't want Inazuma to end up like another nation that fell apart because progress pushed everything so far into oblivion. So it's like she wanted to have things in stasis. 
But that, basically, there are two Ryan Shoguns that were twins, but everyone thought there was only one. However, the other sister died. You'll learn more in the Ryan Shogun story quest. Hmm. Okay, that part, I didn't know. But, yeah. I guess, um, what I was about to say before you mentioned that, the idea is that sometimes you gotta have a little bit of a balance. Sometimes you gotta move forward, and sometimes you don't. So, <laughs> That would be something of an oversimplification. Ain't that the thing. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Is any nation worth existing for eternity? That's the real question. Is anything forever? No. Why? Because Yae Miko even said it during one of her ultimate attacks cutscene, so... Yeah, nothing lasts forever. No matter how much you want to make, something do last forever. Stripped of ambitions, <clears throat> stripped of the potential for change, it does nothing more than simply <clears throat> exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Mm, because of a hollow shell of its people. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation <clears throat> were destroyed. Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people <clears throat> need to you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> mm. You mean visions? They want the visions back, so they don't have to feel like utter shit for the rest of their lives. Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred <clears throat> years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. Life is short. So we can't really move on. <laughs> Cliché. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Speaking of, how old is the Riding Shogun, by the way? I get it, it's like... In her point of view, if she really... It, actually, screw it, I'm gonna look it up. Oldest character so far, Riding Shogun, around 3,000 years old? Known as A, so according to Google, it's 3,000. I don't know about any other... Uh, other answers, but I'll, I'll go with the 3,000 number. I'm sure Patrick will correct it. But the point is, I guess the Ryan Shogun is sort of like human beings don't live long enough to see the cycles and see what is going on. So that's sort of like that that message there. <sighs> She's okay. Old. Yes. But eternity is far too cruel <laughs> for you. <clears throat> <laughs> for me. Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but <laughs> you've stopped paying attention to yourself. You've been cut off from yourself and everybody else, both the inside and outside. Not as old as Zhongli, but still old. Okay. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. Mmm. That's one way of putting it. But it is necessary. He will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining <clears throat> here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet for the sake of eternity you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. <clears throat> Tell me this, why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? <clears throat> why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. Because something finally let up because somebody else came in. So it can only mean <laughs> that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? Ugh. That's not something anyone can ever comprehend. I... <clears throat> have nothing to say to that. Mm. <laughs> But I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. How old is Yai Miko again? Maybe not as old as uh, Ryan Shogun. <laughs> How long will that take? Mm. As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. Okay. So it will probably <laughs> take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <laughs> She's 500. Younger oh than God. the Rhine Shogun. I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. 
She's younger than the Rhine Shogun, but still her teacher. Huh. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. Uh, each tail she has represents 100 years, and she has five tails that you can see in her burst. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. You expect anything more? But then again, what would be anything more than an adult? More than an old person? More than a spiritual ghost at that point? Anyway, <laughs> now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. <laughs> but, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. You're stuck in your head. You're stuck in some place. Yeah, Yamiko is technically your head. Okay. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from <sighs> the very beginning. Locking yourself in your own little room. Literally. As promised, the Rider <clears throat> Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, and to some, bring victory, and some have the power to bring to more wounds. Hope. Mm -hmm. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. <clears throat> Burning bright and true. For all eternity. Mm. Mm? Did I hear an electroculus here? Wait, you were not there? Is the vision and decree abolished? It was all thanks to Yaimiko. We could be there, Oh, gotcha. Paimo was super worried. You <coughs> Maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Do we finally solve all the major problems? We solved all the major problems. Which is, is it Yaimiko? Oh god. We finished Japanland. Oh god. Why hello, if it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you! <laughs> I was just joking. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Screw it. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. It is for the moment thing. Mages and astute. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. It means that you ex exceeded my expectations, cliche. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. Because the developers programmed it so. <sighs> Wait, didn't Child uh, from Leeway count as well? Or I guess killing off Signora oh, somehow was the only one that counted. They caused plenty of trouble yeah, along the way. Yeah, we'll request. But at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? You know about it? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Yes. Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? 
Gnosis belong to the seven. <coughs> keep them connected to Celeste. Oh. Hmm. Well, what's wrong? Did the Ryan Shogun get her Gnosis taken away? I handed that over. Ah! God damn it! You did what now? No, you, you got it taken away. Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? Okay, first of all, that ain't right. Second of all, that means all the things you said about... Nah, because I got the Gnosis. All the things you said about I made that other person beg for their life moment was complete bullshit. The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's superior to Signora. So I'm not the kind another. of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Right, you played it safe. <laughs> Why was Anosis in your hand? After A created her puppet <clears throat> vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. So you had to hold on to it. As her erstwhile closest <clears throat> friend, she <clears throat> handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs <clears throat> the power. Tyler is the weakest of the army, so ignoring the eighth, eighth and the Balladeer is the sixth. Ties with Celestia. Thus the Gnosis Oop. became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Alright, let me read that again without it interrupting. Child is the weakest of the Harbingers at 11th, Signora is 8th, and the Balladeer is 6th. Okay, mm, Maybe. I don't know if Yaimiko considers herself weaker than the 6th, but somewhat stronger than the 8th? I don't know. Is that not a good bargain, <clears throat> exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Wait, core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> to give up the Gnosis in an effort to save the Traveler's life so that she may be able to do something about the Ryan Shogun and overturn the uh, Vision Hunt Decree, yada yada yada, fixed all of Inazuma, done. <laughs> no wonder we haven't seen Valerie have since. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. Never knew us could fetch such a high price. <sighs> well, <clears throat> what, um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over to that, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? Oh god, it's just like the end with, uh... I'm thinking of, uh, Zhang Li, where, um, I'm thinking of Zhang Li, where it's like, I'm thinking of Ina Azuma after Li Wei. Now, I'm thinking of Sumeru after Ina Azuma. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. Wow, it is just like the end of Li Wei. <clears throat> What would you like to know about? Uh... Brother... Sorry, I haven't a clue. Uh, I'm also God familiar damn with it. the god you describe. I don't know, I'm familiar with the god you describe. That's not and a god! If you still have doubts about A, I would say that not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her Gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Wait, what? That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward. Don't worry, we aren't looking for <laughs> As for your brother's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiomatsuban. So the Harbingers are pretty dang powerful. <clears throat> I'll let you know if I find out anything. Uh... Consider it part of my means of thanking you. About the next stop on the journey. After leaving Inazuma, <clears throat> hmm. I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. The fourth place for Genshin. And then after that, it's Fontaine. I gotta do Sumeru. The top three are Harbingers are said to be compared to the gods in terms of strength. So the Harbingers are pretty dang powerful. Okay. Ooh, Sumeru! <clears throat> We've run into lots of scholars from there on our journey so far. Sumeru! Oh god! Yes, well. Literally. Sumeru is the land of the god of wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never ending. Hmm. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. 
For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Huh. <coughs> knowledge is a resource? <coughs> yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Right. <coughs> oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. Her, Lesser Lord Kusanali. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Okay. Are you sure? I'm okay, sure keep in a safe place. Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do? There was me thinking that you might hang it <laughs> on your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Mika, okay. the wise and beautiful. Okay. Uh. I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with my I'll brother. Stop. Now a question for you. Try I see. But that is merely a small goal based on what preoccupies you here and now. Mm. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Okay. Ah, finally! On your friends over mortals, chapter 2, act 3. Ah, uh, dang, in the depths, expected reunion with Catherine. Ah, Kyod. Ah, you're all locked. That took a while. It took such a long while. It took such a long while. Such a long while. Ooh. Got that. Requiem, Our Conquest, Act 4. So there's probably like filler after this. We're not going straight to Inazuma yet. Inazuma is completed. And yet, in the depths of the unexpected reunion. All right, fine. I'll take it at that. Now, can I please get something good or am I gonna get screwed? Please and thank you. Per ah! <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! <gasps> I saw a shiny. Not a character. That was not a character. <gasps> Ooh! student. Layla! Oh, sorry, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm a bit out of it today. What did you say again? WHO THE HELL IS LAYLA?! <laughs>
So why don't you keep your mouths shut? We don't want to make the children cry. <laughs> hey, come on now. Even I don't think this is the right time or place for a fight. <laughs> Utterly risible. Is this where all the harbingers are? Methods yeah. Her honor. Will Falta's sacrifice is a great pity. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. But Detore, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. So the balladeer took the... After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no captive audience. Mm. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. With this nation, sure for all time. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Also, there's a post credit, so watch all the way to the end. Peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa. Such is Her Majesty's benevolence. Now you rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Tsaritsa? Yeah, but Rosaline, I promise you. No, that's ignore. Your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. So why? I must say, you're looking very young today, Doctor. You know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. So. Where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. So... Ooh. Ooh, Colin, that... time to head out on patrol. Uh, okay, Master Tainari! Hmm. What was that? Hmm... Something tells me you want me to go get Kole after before going to Sumeru. Oh no, I was just showing you a tease for uh, Sumeru. Oh god, Sumeru is going to be extremely difficult to get through.